From the WNCT 9 on Your Side newsroom, this is your information update. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris delivering remarks at a campaign event in Raleigh on Tuesday. The president criticizing his predecessor, former President Trump, for many of the policies he enacted while in office, such as overturning the landmark Supreme Court case, Roe v. Wade. Trump proudly says, quote, after 50 years with no one coming close, I was able to kill Roe v. Wade. That's a statement. You've seen it on television. Thousands of North Carolina veterans and their families will be eligible for the state's newly expanded Medicaid benefit. The state's health department is working to identify around 14,000 veterans and their families who could benefit from the Food and Nutrition Services Program, also known as Food Stamps or SNAP. They plan to reach out by mail and text messages to offer application assistance to veterans who are enrolled in Medicaid but not yet enrolled in FNS. The North Carolina State Lottery Commission is calling the first week after launching mobile sports betting a success. Several members joined a sports betting committee meeting on Tuesday afternoon and mentioned the first week also brought in a large response, including several people who made wagers. The state recently approved eight operators, including DraftKings, Fanatics, and ESPN Bet, they are, uh, that, uh, that are expected to generate $100 million annually by the fifth year of operation. North Carolina State Lottery Commission proposing a small package of updated rules. They're now looking for public comment and feedback through April 19th. Let's go now to the Storm Team 9 Weather Center, where meteorologist Rob Martin has a look at today's forecast. Expect increasing clouds through this Wednesday morning and then some showers later this afternoon. Rain becoming heavy at times tonight all the way into a Thursday morning. We could pick up two to four inches of rain with some flooding issues, possibly a concern. We'll have a Storm Team 9 weather alert in place late tonight into Thursday, becoming windy at the coast as well on Thursday and Friday. We'll clear out late Thursday and Friday with a splendid Easter weekend coming your way. From the Storm Team 9 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Rob Martin for Talk 96.3 and 103. 3.7. 47 in Greenville, 48 in New Bern. Bath is 45 with clouds. And in the Working Man's Beach Surf City, 53. You can really tell a difference out there. It's a lot warmer uh, than it was yesterday. Uh, it is Talk of the Town. And we are up and running on Talk 1037 WTIB, Talk 963, and the brand new IBX Media app, which is free for download at Google. And app, the App Store, Google Play in the App Store. The Big Hand making his way in. I'll have uh, the Pirate Report after an ECU baseball win last night. We'll tell you how they got it done. You see me's here picking the lame tunes. We'll uh, hear from uh, everybody on the other side of this timeout. Air Service is back at Pitt Greenville Airport, offering safe, clean facilities and flights from American Airlines. That means the short commute, quicker lines, and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy. See it for yourself. There's great things inside at Pitt Greenville Airport. Storm season is approaching. North Carolina weather can damage your roof, and before long, a small leak can turn into a big problem. Your home is one of your biggest investments, so protect it with Wells Home Improvements. We work with all insurance companies for a hassle-free roof installation experience. Call us today and get 10% off your roof installation when you mention this commercial. 252-227-8403 or visit us online at wellshomeimprovements.com. Wells Home Improvements. Local. Honest. Dependable. Big tax credits are back. Get a 30% tax credit, up to $2,000 off your new Mitsubishi electric heat pump install. Let Comfort Master help you take advantage of the tax credits with a qualifying Mitsubishi electric ducted heat pump or non-ducted Mitsubishi electric mini splits. Mitsubishi electric mini splits are ideal for bonus rooms, garages, or sunrooms. If you need a new HVAC unit, call Comfort Master today. Call Comfort Master. Call Comfort Master. When a place is as special as this, you don't want to change a thing. You simply want to enjoy it, just as it is. That was our inspiration behind Bow Coast West, our newest community in Beaufort, North Carolina. Embrace all that we love about this very special place and make it easy for families to enjoy all that this coastal lifestyle has to offer. Be inspired. Bow Coast West. Hey, grab me one, too.
Interbanks Media and 107.9 WNCT presents Concert on the Common. One, two, three, say, I love beach music. It's Every back April 25th with the Embers. Oh, hit you, hallelujah. Girls hit you, hallelujah. Cause uptown folk don't give it to you. Don't miss Concert on the Common with the Embers. Concert on the Common, thanks to Interbanks Media, the City of Greenville, and the Junior League of Greenville. We'll see you at the show. Air service is back at Pitt Greenville Airport, offering safe, clean facilities and flights from American Airlines. That means the short commute, quicker lines, and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy. See it for yourself. There's great things inside at Pitt Greenville Airport. This is... Is it that time already? Who's ready to party? Okay, finally! It's so time. Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton and Packer Johnson. It's the number one show in America. No, it's not. Local, state, world news, weather, sports, and more. Plus the adorable voices that get your day started. You best put seatbelts on your ears because I'm going to take them for the ride of their lives. Oh, look, here they are now. Henry Hinton and Packer Johnson. Oh, goody, we're on. It's showtime. On Talk 96.3 and 103.7. Hey, welcome in, everybody. Welcome hey to Wednesday. Hey, now. Hey, I'm, now. Uh, just getting in the uh, chair here. We had some technical issues with my earpiece again this morning. 47 Another uh, late coming in. and No, I was here on time, and my earpiece oh. just... I sat to get ready here, and my earpiece blew up again. So I'm back to you the You know, old. my earpiece blew up, and uh, I'm wondering if Dr. No will spring for a new one for me, maybe. Um, we both need one, then. I'm going to get him to okay. spring for one for me. Since I need okay. one, you'll, you'll probably get, you'll probably be successful and get one. <laughs> All right. I'm going to write Dr. No these, today. But... I love these new earpieces that fit inside your ear. Oh, they're great. They're wonderful. I love those. But, you know, they, they're they very um We should probably get finicky. multiple. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, they are a little fragile, and yeah. if you have a lot of wax buildup like I do, it becomes problematic. Now, that, so. now that's gross. I don't want to hear about your wax buildup. Hey, I can't. I That's can't got help it. At least to do I don't. With mine. mine just hey, broke off. I know. What do you want me to do? Talk about uh, your ED? Come on. <laughs> My ED? How about talking about your ED? Oh, Forty-seven to degrees. Talk about there. Forty-seven degrees. Uh, Michael and I were just talking about all the medicine. That's what that, it's been like lately. Big when, you, when you get to be 70 years old, you're being kept alive by my medications. I'm on a new one now, thanks to my little heart episode. Oh, good. So you you got on it? Yeah. The, uh, so guess finally, what happened they, yesterday? They, appro they approved it. Just like everything else, if it's an expensive medicine, they deny it. And then the doctor right. has to write a letter and say he'll die without it, and then they give it to you. It's guess such what a, happened it's such yesterday? It's a stupid game. I guess they just assume that some people won't write the letter, and then you you know they right. save money. What happened yesterday? You, you know who uh, the insurance companies are? They're like Dr. No. They're like a bunch of Dr. No's is what yes. they are. Yes, yes, they are. <laughs> so – my parents went to craft body scan yesterday. Oh, how, how was and the they experience? Got, uh, they said it was very good. Took no time. They actually uh, they they signed up for some other services they provide. They have some sort of a, a ongoing thing that you can do this like more than once. Right. They got. Yeah. They I think they got the full body scan. Yeah. So that was good. I'm very. I was very happy to hear that. They'll know in five to seven days the results of all that. But they said. It could not have been a better experience. And I sent another person and, yesterday. I was telling somebody else yeah. about it yesterday. I mean, I, I, I'm convinced that they've saved my life at least, at least for now. And they referenced my parents referenced you. Oh yeah. And the people at Craft Body Scan said, "Who? No, they said Henry Hinton. This is a quote: is a walking advertisement. They also said you had <laughs> open heart surgery." But I, so I think their facts are a little confused on that. But they Did said they Henry tell Hinton. Them that really? <laughs> no. <laughs> they said Henry Hinton is a walking advertisement. They've literally contacted me and asked me if I will do some national commercials for them. I haven't decided. Really? Whether, I'm not. Whoa! Decided whether no, I'm come do on. That. I don't you, know if I want to do that. That I is the kind of things Big Hinton that gets I, us to Larkoni next year. You think? Yeah, if you're a national <laughs> spokesman, that helps. <laughs> I don't know. The general manager at WRAL Television was telling me the other day that um, 
they were telling him that I was getting ready to do some TV commercials for him. I was like, oh, I am? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you've, you've, you've dropped some LPs. You're, you've, you're, you're looking good with your yeah. fantastic Sam's haircut. Why don't you go and get a good, I don't know. Go get a little TV time. You'll be on yeah, to the big know. market. You know. You'll finally be on in the Raleigh market again. I should get you to represent me. Then, when, you know, you can get 10% or whatever. Representing? They... <laughs> I'll represent you. I'm going next month for a yeah. scan. Yeah, I highly recommend it. Um, you know, it, uh, as I've said before, it's everybody has to make their own decision. But this is the first time, I think, that there's actually been a commercial, what they call executive CT scan operation, which you actually can just pay. Normally, you can't get a CT scan without getting referred by a doctor but you can just call and make an appointment at craft body scan and you know they're new so they're running these special deals that are pretty inexpensive and it's an open ct scanner and um you know you i, I think told, that was I, the thing my dad liked the most oh yeah you don't feel like you're in a coffin with all that noise around banging around your head it was it was easy you just lie there and uh, the little voice comes on and says hold your breath so you hold your breath, and then it says, now breathe. <laughs> and it takes takes pictures of your heart and lungs. And in my case, they did the whole body scan. So um, they were amazed at parts of my body, actually. No, they weren't. They actually, they were like, they were like, you, you poor guy. 17 minutes after, uh, can we stop talking about my medical issues? Uh, let's talk about other things. The... Um, well, no, I was just saying that you have uh, encouraged others to do it. That's all you yeah. should Well, be you've encouraged to people to go get that weight loss program at East Carolina Weight Loss because of your success. So I'm, I'm sure. happy for you, man. Uh, let's see. Um, the the bridge collapsed yesterday. Mm hmm. Whew. Now there are conspiracy theories all over the Internet. Oh, no. Did you, you know, is Lara Logan lost it? Lara Logan used to be a 60 Minutes right. uh, correspondent, and then she left and went to Fox News. And then you might remember she claimed she was raped when she was in that street fight in, um, was it, uh, where, where was that? It was, it was uh, in the Middle East. I, I don't Middle remember. Yeah. And there was a lot of discussion about that. I'm not saying she was or wasn't, but I'm there, she she's just, in, in, the stuff she tweets out these days seems to be really focused on uh, getting clicks, getting, you know, bringing Click attention. Clickbait, as they say. So Click she bait. and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Alex Jones and all of those, you know, all oh. the usual suspects have now started out with this, um, this, this stuff about the bridge collapse yesterday in Baltimore being a terrorist attack. And there is absolutely no indication of it. Uh, but they've taken every part of it and and dissected it. You know that the it was in, the the guy intentionally ran it into the bridge. They, it looked like the power was on and off, on and off. Why were they cutting the power on and off? Uh, how do you turn a how do you turn a a ship to head into the the bridge like that? And of course, it's very easy. It depends on where the rudder was when the power went out. They could have been trying to turn it away, and then it, it went right into the side of the bridge. But it's sad stuff. Uh, six people in the water. Now, these guys that were in the water, I, you know, I, I will say that the emergency operations folks did a great job of stopping traffic because if you've seen the video, you can see there is traffic on the bridge, and then it stops right before the ship hits the bridge. And uh, Michael, you got that audio of the emergency operations guy? We, here's here's the way it sounded through the emergency operations communications, and you'll hear you know you'll hear the guy saying stop the traffic from coming on the bridge. He also mentions that there are people working on the bridge, get them off the bridge. But unfortunately, those are the guys that didn't get off, and those are the ones that are, are now presumed mm. dead. I think there's six of them. Uh, this is kind of chilling to listen to, but uh, roll it, Michael. I need one of you guys on the south side, one of you guys on the north side, hold all traffic on the key bridge. Uh, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering. So until you get that under control, we got to stop all traffic. 
I'm in route to the south side. Yeah, if we can stop traffic, just make sure no one's on the bridge right now. There's a crew up there. You might want to notify whoever the foreman is, see if we can get them off the bridge temporarily. 10 4. Once the other unit gets here, I'll ride up on the bridge. 213 dispatch. The whole bridge just fell down. Everybody, the whole bridge just collapsed. Do we know if all traffic will stop? I can't get to the other side, sir. The bridge is down. C13, I'm holding all traffic northbound. Chilling to hear, isn't it? You know what I don't like? This stuff now where they put these videos and they t- and then they put this alleged dramatic music over it as they do a mashup. Oh, I hadn't seen that Like one. the music, you know, you didn't hear the music underneath what we just heard? It was distracting. Actually, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, well, I did. It was distracting. Yeah. So Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, tweeted out that there's got to be a serious investigation, that this could have been an intentional attack. And, um, again, there's just been no indication. Somebody just texted me and said it happened during Arrow Spring. I, child, please, come on, stop. Stop it. Stop it. I think that was in reference to the Larry Logan thing. Oh, that's what that was. Thank you. That's what that was, the Arab Spring. That's exactly what that was. So I was in Raleigh yesterday, and so was Joe Biden and uh, Kamala. Mm. Luckily, I was on the north side of town. North Raleigh? I was in North Raleigh meeting at your old offices yesterday. Oh. Uh, We had a great meeting yesterday with, uh, remember Scott Rawls, who was Mm -hmm. the, um, he got his kind of, he cut his teeth at Craven Community College as president, then he went on and became the president of the community college system and now he's the president of wake tech which is that's right he is isn't he what an operation they have cool isn't it though so uh, i'm working with uh scott rawls on some uh, north carolina association of broadcaster stuff and he's being very helpful we had a great meeting yesterday I, our community college system is just amazing Top just, am, just amazing um, let's see. Yeah. So Biden and Harris were, they were on the other side of town at a, uh, community center on in South Raleigh. I was in North Raleigh. Um, I guess the whole thing was the, the, the premise of yesterday's, uh, Biden Harris rally was to, um, support get support for the Affordable Care Act. And, of course, you know, it's a it's a political strategy because if you saw any of Biden's speech yesterday, he was whispering into the microphone, we're going to stop him. You know, it's, you know they bad. tried to, they, they, they tried to, they tried to eliminate the Affordable Care Act. And guess what? We stopped them. I got news for him. We're going to stop him again. What what is that when he whispers into the microphone? It's, it, it's I mean it's, it's disgusting. It's, it's the beginning of the end. He's got problems in North Carolina. I will say this that they, it looks like they're targeting North Carolina. I don't think there's any question about it. He only lost North Carolina by seventy five hundred votes in twenty twenty, which is the smallest margin of any state that Trump won. Now, I pulled up some numbers here. You know, we keep talking about these seven states that matter. There are seven states with elector- with 93 electoral votes. They are Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. Um, Trump carried all of them except Nevada in 16. In 2020, he took North Carolina by 1.3 points. Biden carried the other six between um, a quarter of a point and three points. So Biden is going to need 45 of these electoral, uh, 45 of these 93 electoral votes to, uh, to beat Trump. Um, reaching either threshold will require at least winning three of the states. And so it looks like they're targeting North Carolina to be one of the states that he's going to try to win we're targeting north carolina 
We're targeting the Tar Heel State. We're coming for you, Trump. He won't <laughs> say Trump. He calls him MAGA. MAGA. It's always MAGA. We're coming for you, MAGA. <laughs> That's creepy, isn't it? It's just. He's just creepy. It's, it's, it's just weird. So, you know, this is where the, this is where the battle's going to be. Seven states, Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. And by the way, uh, there's some changes in the demographics in Pennsylvania that look like they, um, they favor Trump. The analysis of the census data of people who have um, left Pennsylvania and people have migrated in, so the migration within and migration out of Pennsylvania, seems to favor Trump. Uh, this guy from this uh, think tank in um, at Marshall College, um, Bern- Burwood Yost, director of the Floyd Institute for Center for Opinion Research at Franklin Marshall College, he says uneven patterns of in and out migration in Pennsylvania could work to make what was a closely contested race in 2020 even closer in 2024. Trump lost Pennsylvania by less than 100,000 votes. Uh, he lost 48.8% to 50%. Now, as preparations for the 24 election go into full swing, Pennsylvania is expected to play a similar role. Uh, this guy noted that since 2020, when the last census was taken, counties won by Trump had a combined gain of about 4,500 people, while Biden counties that Biden won had lost over 45,000 people. Wow. Wow been a migration out of some of the uh, heavily populated counties in Pennsylvania. Overall, Pennsylvania's population has declined significantly since 2020. I guess people getting out of the big cities after COVID. The biggest losses are in, in Pittsburgh and Allegheny County and Philadelphia. And those are the big centers of Biden's support. So it looks like Biden is going to target North Carolina and Trump is going to target Pennsylvania. So just a little analysis of um, kind of where things stand as we as the campaign really starts to heat up here. 728 quick break. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm D.R. Alligood. And I'm his daughter, Jessica. For 11 years, we have built quality driveways and parking lots for both your residential and commercial needs. We also offer free on-site quotes to have your custom driveways built the way you want. about you, your family, and the health of all who live in Eastern North Carolina. This is about the transformation of a health system into something more powerful and more human, about creating new ways to treat disease and keep you well. This is about ECU Health, which is to say, it's really all about you. ECU Health, minds, hearts, purpose. Hi, I'm D.R. Alligood. And I'm his daughter, Jessica. For 11 years, we have built quality driveways and parking lots for both your residential and commercial needs. We also offer free on-site quotes to have your custom driveways built the way you want. 252-946-1227. Fifth Street Hardware is the home of the $9 lunch special Tuesday through Fridays. $9 specials every day, including the famous Burger Day on Tuesdays. 
Flatbread Pizza Wednesday, the famous 5th Street Hardware Reuben on Thursday, and Fried Fish or Shrimp on Friday. Plus, trivia on Wednesday nights and live music every Thursday nights. And the Prime Rib Brunch Buffet has returned on Sundays. You heard that right. The Brunch Buffet with all the great items, including Prime Rib, 5th Street Hardware, and downtown Greenville. Your confidence makes everything look good. You see the world in vivid color, not black and white. Swing through your neighborhood fantastic Sam's Cut in color and let our experienced stylists take you from everyday to extraordinary. Fantastic Sam's hair salons are locally owned and operated. Our full service salons are conveniently located in Goldsboro, Kinston, Greenville, Newburn, Jacksonville, and Calabash. Stop in today at Fantastic Sam's where the possibilities are endless. We're back. I can't start my day without Henry and Patrick. This is Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton and Patrick Johnson on Talk 96.3 and 103.7. The conspiracy theorists are out. Okay. Getting some response to what I said earlier. Uh, somebody says the bridge collapse was not an accident. Stop believing everything the media tells you. Oh, jeez, God. <laughs> Here's another. I mean, one. it just it. What it do never you know ends. about the Russian pipeline attack? Same thing in uh, one hour of of one hour of boat said no attack. I, it, it, that's not even a sentence. I don't know. What I mean, is. it's not Wait. even a sentence. It's just it doesn't end. Wait for the Never UFO ends. conspiracy. Wait for the wait for somebody black to go. Helicopter. The US, it was US a black boat, helicopter yeah. fired, fired a laser shot. There you go. Jeez, oh, oh, listen to Busimi trying to get in on it. I mean, it's just <laughs> the whole thing. The whole thing. You guys. You guys. Uh, so uh, wait a minute. Let me ask you this then. Yes. Um. What what, what these these brilliant. Uh, Alex Jones, like, yeah. I mean, some people just they... believe whatever the guys like Alex Jones say. What, what what are they claiming happened? It was a terrorist attack. I mean, here's the thing: it was a terrorist attack, and they phoned in and said the boat was disabled. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, there was plenty of notice that the boat was disabled. We heard that just a minute ago. I mean, it's just. There's going to be a solar eclipse. That could also be a terrorist. When is the solar eclipse? We're supposed to have a total eclipse of the sun. April 8th? If you want to really see, if you want to really have it, uh, you know, get dark, you got to go to Dallas. Uh, let's see. It's uh, the total, total solar eclipse when the moon passes between the sun and the earth. Uh, blocking out the sun's light, set to pass over North and Central America April the 8th. Several cities like Dallas and Indianapolis situated along the eclipse narrow track from Texas to Maine are expected to be prime viewing locations. Apparently, hotel reservations in Dallas, you can't get a hotel room. Hmm. Hotels have already seen booking skyrocket as travelers prepare for the solar eclipse. The uh, travel demand for the days surrounding the eclipse is heightened, according to corporate travel and expense company Navon. The company found that aggregate searches for solar eclipse travel have increased three times, with hotels up to 306%, flight searches up to 107%, car rental researches up to um, 241%. Or you could be just like Carly Simon and get on Warren Beatty's plane. That was a reference to what? the song "I'm So Vain." Ah, you're Michael, so vain. Not Michael, honest. you're right. You're the expert. I, I can't. I can't argue with that. The musical expert, Michael Busey. Carly Simon sang about when she got on the egomaniac's plane and and he flew flew him up to Nova Scotia to see the total eclipse of the sun. Was it Warren Beatty or not, Michael? It was. She's uh, come out and said it. No, she hasn't. Yes, yeah, she has. She's never <laughs> confirmed that. Yes, yeah, she has. No, she hasn't. <laughs> oh, the musical goodness. expert. Oh. All she did was say that the guy's name had a W in it. She just keeps teasing that it's Warren Beatty. She's never confirmed that it was Warren Beatty. W. Bush? <laughs> I think he was... He was probably not in uh, 
Carly Simon's orbit during those years. Ah, <laughs> I told well, he may have been. You know, he he used to he used to like to party. Supposedly. All right, I'm googling this. Did Carly Simon oh, yeah. ever confirm who the song "You're So Vain" is about? A boot. All right, here's what Google says. Warren Beatty. <laughs> you may be right, Michael. According no. to two sources, Carly Simon has confirmed at Snopes least in one part of to one of the most part. puzzling questions in recent history, who the song You Are So Vain is about. I have confirmed that the second verse is Warren. She told People Magazine. Michael, you're right. How did I miss this? I don't read People Magazine. Why did she finally reveal that? It was such a great, it was such a wonderful mystery, wasn't it, all these years? And you know who sang backup, right, on that song? Yeah, Here we Mick, go. Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger, that's right. And there was a lot of discussion about the fact that it might have been about Mick Jagger. But I don't think he would have sang on the song with her if, it was, if she was writing a song about him being vain. Agreed. She says... I have confirmed that the second verse is Warren. That would be Warren Beatty, long suspected of being the vain one. The other verses, the ones where you walked into the party and I hear you went up to Saratoga, are about other men. Carly Simon dated Warren Beatty, although she told the Washington Post in 83, hasn't everybody? <laughs> At the time I met him, he was still relatively undiscovered as a Don Juan. I felt I was one among thousands at that point. Uh, it hadn't reached, you know, the population of small counties. So, um, if if it was if that if that verse was about him, who were the other verses about? James Taylor. You know, um, a good producer would have the tune next time we go to break, right? Well, you know, here's the other thing. Who cares about this anymore? I mean, it's old news. Well, you know. just found out. How's it old news I've to you? I've fascinated with it over the years. I've always like, you know, because. So now really, you're over it. Now well, I mean, think about it. Out. She was the original Taylor Swift. She really went after her ex-boyfriends. In her music. In her music. I mean, have you Didn't ever we have to her on the show once? Carly? Yeah, no. I'm, I think it's somebody else. I don't. We had Carol King. Carol King. We had Carol King. We didn't have Carly. Six Simon. of one, half a dozen of the other. No. Carol King has written more hits than anybody in history. You don't like Carly Simon? I like Carly Simon, but I mean, she's no Carol King. I can tell you that much. Okay. You ever see the Carol King musical Beautiful? Beautiful? I saw it at the Durham Performing Arts Center. Is that Broadway. what you're going to go see when you're in Vegas? I don't think we've ever decided what we're going to. See in Vegas. I, I got news for you. I know the crowd, some of the crowd you're going with, they're not in your demo. <laughs> they're going mean, to want to do stuff I'm not going to want to do. They're, they're going well, they're going to do stuff you won't be capable of doing. I mean, you're like <laughs> 3 30, 4 o'clock. I remember when I met Chris Fowler. Snowbird lunch. When I met Chris Fowler from ESPN, and mm -hmm. I was having a conversation with him about um, Lee Corso, because I've met, I've met Lee Corso. Lee Corso's been on the show. You know, right. we had Cor Corso came to the Michael Jordan tournament. We had Corso on the show. Corso was a great guy. And I, I I was telling Chris Fowler the night that I was at a party with him that I met him. I said, I said I met your cohort, Lee Fowler. I, I mean, uh, uh, Lee Corso. I said, what a great guy. He said, oh, my God, he's such a great guy. He said, I said, what's it like to be on the road with Lee Corso when you go out mm -hmm. to do these, you know, these football shows in these at these universities? He said, honestly, if you go by Lee's room at 8.30 at night, you, he says, I knocked on his door one night. I had to give him something. And I knocked on his door. He came to the door, and he had on these long stockings and wool <laughs> pajamas at 8.30 at night. <laughs> That's going to be me in Las Vegas. That's going to be you in <laughs> Vegas, yes. The, all the young people are going to be coming to my door, knocking on my door, wanting me to go do something. At I mean, 8.30 at night, it'll be 11.30 here. You'll be long I, gone. I've gotten lots of response to my desire to see the Beatles Cirque du Soleil show, the love show. People are telling me I they need have to a go. Two in the, the afternoon deal. The, the only show that they have, 
the night where is the night we arrive, and it's at nine thirty, Las Vegas time, which will be twelve thirty a.m. by my well, time. Get so, off, get off the plane, go right to the show, and do no, it. No, we're going. We're going to get there in the afternoon. Uh, but take a nap, sleep on the plane. I can't. I can't envision myself going to going to a show at twelve thirty in the morning. I mean, would you? Can you imagine me going to a show at 12.30 in the morning? I can't imagine you going to a show at 12.30 in the afternoon, let exactly. alone 12.30 in the morning. You're right. 7.41. We'll be right back. Air service is back at Pitt Greenville Airport, offering safe, clean facilities and flights from American Airlines. That means the short commute, quicker lines, and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy. See it for yourself. There's great things inside at Pitt Greenville Airport. Storm season is approaching. North Carolina weather can damage your roof, and before long, a small leak can turn into a big problem. Your home is one of your biggest investments, so protect it with Wells Home Improvements. We work with all insurance companies for a hassle-free roof installation experience. Call us today and get 10% off your roof installation when you mention this commercial. 252-227-8403 or visit us online at wellshomeimprovements.com. Wells Home Improvements. Local. Honest. Dependable. Big tax credits are back. Get a 30% tax credit, up to $2,000 off your new Mitsubishi electric heat pump install. Let Comfort Master help you take advantage of the tax credits with a qualifying Mitsubishi electric ducted heat pump or non-ducted Mitsubishi electric mini splits. Mitsubishi electric mini splits are ideal for bonus rooms, garages, or sunrooms. If you need a new HVAC unit, call Comfort Master today. Call Comfort Master. Call Comfort Master. When a place is as special as this, you don't want to change a thing. You simply want to enjoy it, just as it is. That was our inspiration behind Bow Coast West, our newest community in Beaufort, North Carolina. Embrace all that we love about this very special place and make it easy for families to enjoy all that this coastal lifestyle has to offer. Be inspired. Bow Coast West. Hey, grab me one, too. Interbanks Media and 107.9 WNCT presents Concert on the Common. One, two, three, say, I love beach music. It's Every back April 25th day with, day with the Embers. Girls hit you hallelujah. Girls hit you hallelujah. Cause uptown funk don't give it to you. Don't miss Concert on the Common with the Embers. Concert on the Common. Thanks to Interbanks Media, the City of Greenville, and the Junior League of Greenville. We'll see you at the show. Air service is back at Pitt Greenville Airport, offering safe, clean facilities and flights from American Airlines. That means the short commute, quicker lines, and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy. See it for yourself. There's great things inside at Pitt Greenville Airport. Here we go. Got to get the scoop on what's happening around town. We're live. This is Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton and Patrick Johnson on Talk 96.3 and 1037. Two days away from our beach season kickoff. We're going to be live at Gaffer's at Emerald Isle coming up on Friday morning. I am really looking forward to that. Michael and I were talking to Red at, at Gaffer's yesterday. You're all set, Michael, right? You're going to be down there tomorrow? Yes. Setting us up, and we'll be yes. there Friday morning. So come on out and see us. Uh, thanks to all of our sponsors of our beach season kick out sh kickoff show. Uh, our friends at Surf Pro of Swansboro, uh, the great Robertson family, Brent and Nancy. Uh, Swansboro's Dairy Queen, John Davis, the mayor of Swansboro, Timeless Home Inspections, Towboat U.S., Ryan Ayer, a global real estate advisor for Landmark Sotheby's International, Ace Marine Rigging and Supply, one of our new sponsors, Bogue Sound Distillery, one of our old sponsors, Richard Chapman is going to be with us, Carteret Heating and Cooling, looking forward to seeing the White family, Ice House Catering, Never Enough Blue Water Charters is back this year after being with us last year. Uh, Performance East, 
and one hour heating and air conditioning. We'll be live at Gaffer's on uh, Friday morning. Seven to nine, kicking off the beach weekend. And the weather looks like it's going to be good uh, for the show, so come out. Um, we're going to have uh, rain. Let's see. The rain is supposed to get out of here, right? Uh, rain is supposed to. What time does the rain start today? My uh, my grandson has a Rose High game today. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Rain starts uh, about 20% chance at lunchtime today. 45% chance at 3 o'clock. And by 5 o'clock, we're at uh, 50% chance of rain. It's supposed to rain. The rain chances stay with us. Tomorrow is supposed to be a total washout. So uh, careful. But then on Friday morning, things uh, clear up. Looks like Friday morning is going to be good. So we hope to have a good crowd of folks with us. Uh, Friday's forecast, no rain, 70 degrees. So uh, come out and see us at Gaffer's on Friday morning. All right, let's get Patrick in for some uh, sports and Pirate Report. I was out at uh, Clark LeClaire last night. Great win for the Pirates over UNC Wilmington. A sweep of the Sea Squawks. UNC Wilmington, we got them both times this year. Uh, great game last night. I was a little worried at first. Second batter hit a two-run homer. And I was like, oh, boy, here goes the midweek pitching issues again. Cliff's still moving guys around, trying to find the right guys for midweek, right? But um, Pirates uh, get on a roll and win it last night. Here's Patrick with all the details. Well, number 15, East Carolina used a lockdown effort from its bullpen to rally from an early deficit and defeat UNCW 7-4. Inside of Clark LeClaire Stadium, Coach Godwin says the pin came through. No question. Um, you know, I gave it the shank, the shirt, because uh, he uh, stuffed in the last three innings. But, um, of course, Eric Ritchie did a really good job of just settling things down. And um, Groller came in. Then Danny Bill uh, picked him up. And uh, then Shankman, man. But definitely the bullpen was the MVP of today. ECU hosts UAB in the conference opening series on Thursday, uh, the home opening series on Thursday. The Panthers may be bringing back a familiar face. According to reports, Carolina's reached out to veteran free agent corner Stephen Gilmore about a potential reunion. Gilmore, who went to college at South Carolina, appeared in eight games for the Panthers in 2021 after being acquired in a trade with the Patriots. Last season, he started all 17 with the Cowboys and had 68 total tackles, 13 passes defended, and two interceptions. College hoops, high point squeak past Arkansas State, 81-80 in the semifinal of the CBI. The Panthers will face Seattle U in the championship tonight. That'll wrap it for sports this hour. Let's send it back to the Big Hen. Wow, you were fast. You were fast this morning. I didn't get a chance to get my uh, sponsor up here. Hang on a second. Is that all the sports you got? I, of, of noting, I watched uh, Cincinnati and Indiana State last night in the uh, NIT. Fabulous yeah. game. Yeah. Great game. High school, like 81, 85, 82 or something like Just a great game. And I watched uh, Avilo or however the guy's name is for Indiana State, uh, Larry Nerd, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the big <laughs> Rex Beck guy. Fabulous, fabulous yeah. player. What a fun team Indiana uh, State watched, is. I haven't watched it in the NIT. It's not not been on my radar yet. Maybe I'll get to it. Uh, Seahorse brings us our uh, sports update. I talked to Danny yesterday. Uh, Danny uh, at uh, Seahorse has um, a lot going on, but, of course, um, a lot daily lunch specials, depending on what you're looking for. I particularly like the uh, pork tenderloin special. But, of course, they've got the they, something every day. The hamburger steak special. Oh, God, just so good. Seahorse is kind of the consummate lunchtime diner. But then they turn it into a great steakhouse at night. They've got great steaks, prime rib on the weekends, and you just can't beat Danny Steaks. You always get Danny Steaks. And, of course, you can get a great steak and great food in different places, but there's only one place you can get the kind of cakes that they offer at the Seahorse. And I promise you there's only one. And uh, it's hard to get in and out of there with that. And now, I've, after years of me asking, they're doing pick, pick, and cake. And it's unbelievable. If you haven't been to Seahorse yet, check it out. Seahorse Restaurant, Stansburg Road, right across from the hospital here in Greenville. Ten minutes in front of eight. We'll be right back.
Get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. Get more savings on our huge Toyota selection. Shop new Corollas, just $239 a month. Or new Tundras with 3.99% financing. Get more for your trade. Save big and get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. Acre Station Meat Farm, along with Lane Angus Beef, bring you Farm to Fork Beef. Stock your freezers now with affordable beef boxes, just in time for the grilling season. Farm to Fork Beef brings quality local beef to your family. From your traditional butcher shop, Acre Station Meat Farm. Come on down to Acre Station Meat Farm and find out why we're number one in fresh cuts and friendly service. Acre Station Meat Farm, Highway 32 North, Pine Town. Other restaurants claim their food is fresh and fast, but are they friendly? At Moore's, you're treated like family the minute you walk into their doors. With locations in Winterville, New Bern, Swansboro, Moorhead City, and Jacksonville, we've been practicing what we preach since 1945. At Moore's, our barbecue is slow cooked and smoked over real wood daily until it's so tender it's falling off the bone. Combined with our fresh chicken, cooked to order seafood, and homemade fixins, we're sure you'll agree. If it's not Moore's, it's less. When a place is as special as this, you don't want to change a thing. You simply want to enjoy it, just as it is. That was our inspiration behind Bow Coast West, our newest community in Beaufort, North Carolina. Embrace all that we love about this very special place and make it easy for families to enjoy all that this coastal lifestyle has to offer. Be inspired. Bow Coast West. Hey, grab me one too. problem is with standard belts, usually you have to choose between too tight or the opposite, too loose. But with Anson Belt and Buckle, you don't have to choose. We got rid of the holes and instead have a track system designed for micro adjustability. That way you can enjoy a perfect fit every time. Anson Belt and Buckle. Find your perfect fit today. It's time to get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. More savings, more selection, more for your trade. Get new Camrys, $269 a month, or new RAV4s, $299 a month. Save big and get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. The complete package with additional bubble wrap. Well, good luck in radio. I don't need luck. I need talent. Henry Hinton and Patrick Johnson. This is Talk 96.3 and 103.7. All right, welcome back. Talk of the town. Uh, you know, we're about a month away now. In fact, we're a, almost exactly a month away from our concerts on the common starting. Uh, got an email from the great folks that represent the uh, Elton John tribute man we're bringing in this year. That's going to be in late June. We've got a man called Greggy and the Jets coming in from Florida this year. But the first band will be Thursday, April 25th. With the uh, we kick it off most years with the Embers. They're going to be back, Craig Willard and the Embers, <clears throat> on Thursday, April twenty fifth, and um, then on Thursday, May 9th, we've got a Billy Joel tribute band called The Stranger. On Thursday, May twenty third, a tribute band to Jimmy Buffett called Captain Mike and the Shipwrecked. On uh, then the June schedule, June thirteenth, we've got Trial by Fire coming back, the Journey tribute band. And then June 27th is when we'll have uh, the Elton John tribute band, Greggy and the Jets. And on Thursday, July uh, 7th, 11th, if the schedule goes according to plan without a lot of rainouts, we'll have a Fleetwood Mac tribute band called Tell Me Lies. So our concerts on the Common are back. Six big shows starting the last week in April and uh, every two weeks on Thursday nights at the Greenville Toyota Amphitheater. Uh, at the Greenville Town Common. If you'd like to sponsor us, have a tent down there. We draw anywhere from uh, 1,500 to 4,000 people per show, depending on a lot of it has to do with weather and that kind of thing. But uh, contact me, and I'll get you in touch with our uh, marketing department. 
because we do have a few sponsorships available. Normally, it sells out pretty quickly, so let me know if you want to get involved. All right, let's do the uh, do the laugh track this morning. I got a Nate Bargatze cut. We're at a Holiday Inn Express, so the breakfast buffet there is where they have the cereal where you turn the knob and, like, four pieces fall out. <laughs> it's like how you feed a cat for a long weekend. You know? <laughs> That's enough. Uh, they had batter and syrup. And so you pour the, but they had the waffle iron where you make it yourself. So you pour the batter on the waffle iron, you shut it, you turn it over, it locks, it cooks for two minutes, you turn it over, you open it, half the waffle comes off, half stays forever. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm with my buddy of mine that's my age. So we go through, he's in front of me, batter and syrup, they're in clear containers. They're not labeled, but they're in clear containers. He gets the syrup and starts pouring it on the waffle iron. And I'm not even stopping him because he's not doing it where he's going, I don't, I've never done this. He's doing it where we're probably going to try it after. I mean, he's just like, we're like, dude, I can't wait to see what this guy's making. Like, he might know something that I don't know. He shuts it, turns it over, it cooks. He's like looking at us. We're like, I mean, the whole line's like, yeah, what is that going to be? And it makes black smoke is what it makes. Just, I mean, dark black smoke just starts filling the lobby. The manager comes over, he's like, what are you doing? He's like, I guess I poured the wrong one. These are not labeled. And the guy's like, they're in clear containers. <laughs> Do you not know the difference of batter and syrup? And he's like, I bet it happens all the time. He goes, I've worked here my whole life and I've never seen this. <laughs> Hi, I'm D.R. Elliott. And I'm his daughter, Jessica. For 11 years, we have built quality driveways and parking lots for both your residential and commercial needs. We also offer free on-site quotes to have your custom driveways built the way you want. about you, your family, and the health of all who live in Eastern North Carolina. This is about the transformation of a health system into something more powerful and more human, about creating new ways to treat disease and keep you well. This is about ECU Health, which is to say, it's really all about you. ECU Health, minds, hearts, purpose. Hi, I'm D.R. Alligood. And I'm his daughter, Jessica. For 11 years, we have built quality driveways and parking lots for both your residential and commercial needs. We also offer free on-site quotes to have your custom driveways built the way you want. 252-946-1227. Fifth Street Hardware is the home of the $9 lunch special Tuesday through Fridays. $9 specials every day, including the famous Burger Day on Tuesdays. Flatbread Pizza Wednesday, the famous 5th Street Hardware Reuben on Thursday, and Fried Fish or Shrimp on Friday. Plus, trivia on Wednesday nights and live music every Thursday nights. And the Prime Rib Brunch Buffet has returned on Sundays. You heard that right. The Brunch Buffet with all the great items, including Prime Rib, 5th Street Hardware in downtown Greenville. Your confidence makes everything look good. You see the world in vivid color not black and white. Swing through your neighborhood fantastic Sam's Cut in color and let our experienced stylist take you from everyday to extraordinary. Fantastic Sam's hair salons are locally owned and operated. Our full service salons are conveniently located in Goldsboro, Kinston, Greenville, Newburn, Jacksonville, and Calabash. Stop in today at Fantastic Sam's where the possibilities are endless.
From the WNCT 9 on Your Side newsroom, this is your information update. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris both delivering remarks at a campaign event in Raleigh on Tuesday. The president criticizing former President Trump for many of his policies he enacted while in office, such as overturning the Supreme Court case Roe v. Wade. Trump proudly says, quote, after 50 years with no one coming close, I was able to kill Roe v. Wade. That's a statement. You've seen it on television. Thousands of North Carolina veterans and their families may be eligible for the state's newly expanded Medicaid benefits. The state's health department is working to identify around 14,000 veterans and their families who could benefit from the Food and Nutrition Services Program, also known as Food Stamps or SNAP. They plan to reach out by mail and text messages to offer application assistance to veterans who are enrolled in Medicaid but not yet enrolled in FNS. The Lottery Commission calling the first week after launching mobile sports betting a success. Several members joined Tuesday afternoon during a sports betting committee meeting and mentioned the first week also brought a large response. The state recently approved eight operators. They include among them ESPN Bet, Fanatics, DraftKings, FanDuel, others. They are expected to help generate $100 million annually by the fifth year of the operation. State Lottery Commission, meantime, has proposed a small package of updated rules, and they're looking for public comment and feedback through April 19th. Let's go now to the Storm Team 9 Weather Center. Here's a look at today's forecast. It is going to be a wet one. Uh, Rob Martin has the details for us. Expect increasing clouds through this Wednesday morning and then some showers later this afternoon. Rain becoming heavy at times tonight all the way into a Thursday morning. We could pick up two to four inches of rain with some flooding issues, possibly a concern. We'll have a Storm Team 9 weather alert in place late tonight into Thursday, becoming windy at the coast as well on Thursday and Friday. We'll clear out late Thursday and Friday with a splendid Easter weekend coming your way. From the Storm Team 9 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Rob Martin for Talk 96.3 and 103. 3.7. All right, 48 clouds in Greenville, 47 in Newburn, cloudy skies, 49 degrees in Jacksonville, and it's 47 currently in Moorhead City. Second hour of Talk of the Town getting underway, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm D.R. Alligood. And I'm his daughter, Jessica. For 11 years, we have built quality driveways and parking lots for both your residential and commercial needs. We also offer free on-site quotes to have your custom driveways built the way you want. in Eastern North Carolina. This is about the transformation of a health system into something more powerful and more human, about creating new ways to treat disease and keep you well. This is about ECU Health, which is to say, it's really all about you. ECU Health, minds, hearts, purpose. Hi, I'm D.R. Alligood. And I'm his daughter, Jessica. For 11 years, we have built quality driveways and parking lots for both your residential and commercial needs. We also offer free on-site quotes to have your custom driveways built the way you want. 252-946-1227. Fifth Street Hardware is the home of the $9 lunch special Tuesday through Fridays. $9 specials every day, including the famous Burger Day on Tuesdays. Flatbread Pizza Wednesday, the famous 5th Street Hardware Reuben on Thursday, and Fried Fish or Shrimp on Friday. Plus, trivia on Wednesday nights and live music every Thursday nights. 
and the Prime Rib Brunch Buffet has returned on Sundays. You heard that right. The Brunch Buffet with all the great items, including Prime Rib, Fifth Street Hardware, and downtown Greenville. Your confidence makes everything look good. You see the world in vivid color, not black and white. Swing through your neighborhood fantastic Sam's Cut in color. And let our experienced stylists take you from everyday to extraordinary. Fantastic Sam's hair salons are locally owned and operated. Our full service salons are conveniently located in Goldsboro, Kinston, Greenville, Newburn, Jacksonville, and Calabash. Stop in today at Fantastic Sam's where the Talk possibilities the are endless. With Henry Hinton and Patrick Johnson. Love listening to Henry and Patrick. Listen or watch now on the IBX Media app. This is Talk 96.3 and 1. All right. <sighs> People want me what to now? watch the Lara Logan interview with Steve Bannon on oh, X. She I has mean, inside on. information. Yeah. She, she Lara Logan I mean, always has inside information. Yeah. Inside information. On the bridge collapse. Not a I mean it just it not never a, ends. Not an accident. All right, it welcome never back. Ends. Welcome back to the program. It's uh Wednesday morning, March 27th. We're live in the studio today. We'll be live here tomorrow and then Friday morning live at uh, Gaffers and Emerald Isle. Got our beach season kickoff coming. When you're flying to, to Vegas, weekend, maybe you yeah. can watch this. Uh, yeah, I'll probably watch will. this interview. Yeah, <laughs> download it. Next Thursday and Friday, we will uh, have our – Radiothon for Children's Miracle Network. We're going to be raising money for the James and Connie Maynard Children's Hospital here in Greenville. Raised about 108, I believe, last year. So let's do that again. A lot of kids uh, use that hospital, and uh, my grandson was in that hospital when he was one year old with uh, RSV. And it's an amazing place, and we're fortunate to have it, but we got to keep it strong. So uh, think about that, and we'll. Um, be asking you to donate you can actually donate on our app now um our ibx media app actually has a um a donate here icon you can go on the ibx media app and go ahead and donate in advance if you like it's very easy it's two clicks you click the uh you click onto the app you click onto the uh, uh radiothon app and then it comes up. You can give $20, $40, $240, 500 750 You can make a monthly gift. And um, we'll be talking more about that next week, of course. Uh, last night, the North Carolina Republican Party executive leadership group met at the farm in Smithfield. And our own Jana Fields was there, and I'm waiting for Jana to get in. Maybe we'll have Jana come and give us a report. Jana, uh, who is our uh, office manager here, is the uh, chairman of the Greene County Republican Party. And she was uh, she left early yesterday afternoon to go to this. Um, the uh, They elected a new chairman. You know, Michael Watley, the chairman of the North Carolina Republican Party, has now been elected to be the chairman, uh, the co-chairman of the uh, National Republican Party. Um, he was uh, Trump's hand-picked guy. And, uh, of course, Lara Trump is going to be his co-chairman. So North Carolina needs a new chairman. So Trump hand-picked the North Carolina chairman, and he got elected last night. More than 400 delegates were uh, on hand at the farm in Smithfield. And um, the guy who was elected chairman of the North Carolina Republican Party was Jason Simmons, who is former executive director of the party. He had been, he had been uh, endorsed by Trump, so he's a Watley Trump guy. Jim Womack, who's chair of the Lee County Party, was the opponent, and um, let's see, Lee got um, Lee got a significant amount of votes. The vote was uh, Simmons won two hundred and eighty nine out of four hundred nineteen votes. I think there were two other people nominated. Uh, Dale Falwell nominated Womack. Davy County 
uh, Chairwoman Linda Mays nominated uh, the former chair of the Guilford County Party, Marcus Kinley, but he came in third. So the new chairman of the North Carolina Republican Party is Jason Simmons. Uh, I don't know Jason. I'm sure we'll get to get him on the show. We'll have him on and talk to him about it. Uh, there are a lot of unhappy people with this. They think that, uh, again, it's another part of Trump just hijacking the party, and now it's nothing but the Trump party. And here's the reason why it could be an issue. We talked about this on yesterday's show. The major concern here is that Trump is going to take donor money and use it for his legal bills. And so I'm just uh, telling you, I'm not telling you, you know, not to donate to the party. If you donate to the party and you, you may be okay with it being used as Trump's legal bills. I'm not, I would not donate to the party and then have him use. If I wanted to donate to Trump, to Trump's legal bills, I'd donate to his campaign because that's where he's using his money. Uh, and he's got huge legal bills to pay, but I don't think it's right for him to be using donor money from the party. But now, you know, he controls the party. Trump controls the Republican Party. He's got Watley, his handpicked guy. He's got his daughter-in-law in there. And now here in North Carolina, he's got Jason Simmons, who was his handpicked guy. So this is where the Republican Party is. And again, I know a lot of you are okay with that. I'm not, but I think we, you know, it needs to be a democratic process in the Repu a democratic process in the Republican Party. So that's my own personal feelings about it. Um, Ronald, uh, I'm sorry, Robert Kennedy has picked a uh, vice presidential candidate. Did you see this? Wealthy I, entrepreneur, I, I, the, lawyer, Nicole yeah, the Shanahan. was on yesterday. So she, I think she's from Los Angeles. This just, uh, this is going to hurt Biden. Uh, you know, I will say this about Rona McDaniel. Rona McDaniel stood up to Trump and said, we're going to have debates, and that's the best way to not have a third-party candidate come out of the Republicans. And, and by the way, did you see Rona McDaniel has now been fired by NBC? They hired her Thursday. All of the NBC uh, journalists went nuts, including uh, Chuck Todd, who actually went on the air and said that the NBC executives owed their audience an apology for hiring Rona McDaniel. So yesterday they fired her. The, the, the inmates are running the asylum at NBC. But, I mean, if that doesn't tell you everything you need to know about NBC News now, they can't have a Republican on the staff. I don't know how McCrory's gotten away with being employed by NBC, which he has. Yeah. He's, been, he's been doing the meet the press thing. He gets paid for doing that. But, I mean, they don't even want, they don't want the other uh, point of view. They don't want a Rona McDaniel on NBC. That's unbelievable, isn't it? But anyway, uh, RFK Jr., and the Democrats are pulling out all the stops to try to shut RFK Jr. down. They're now including allegations that his super PAC violated campaign election laws to get on state ballots. Um, this Nicole Shanahan is his new vice presidential candidate. She has a long history of donating to Democrats and left-leaning causes. She donated big to President Biden in 2020. A DNC spokesperson has accused RFK Jr. of looking for someone who can infuse his campaign with cash as he, as he tries to buy his way onto the ballot to be a spoiler to help Donald Trump. Trump's campaign called Kennedy an environmental whack job and an AOC lover. Meanwhile, the New York Times reports Barack Obama is warning the Biden people that you better watch out for RFK Jr. He's going to siphon enough enough votes to elect Trump. So Biden is campaigning all over the country. He and uh, Kamala were in Raleigh yesterday. Did you see that there were Palestinian protesters that came into the building in that community center in South Raleigh where Biden and, and Harris were doing their little campaign rally 
And they mm. were screaming stuff like, what about health care in Gaza? Mm -hmm. So the president of the United States is doing a pro-health care rally and talking about how wonderful the Affordable Care Act is. And he's up there spouting this off, and some pro-Palestinian protester yells, what about health care in Gaza? So they get they get escorted out. But as the guys get an escorted out, Biden says, you know, they got a point. We need to get a lot more care into Gaza. So now he wants your tax money to go to Gaza for health care. You're already paying free health care for illegal immigrants. Now he wants your health care to go to Gaza. Hmm. So an Israeli delegation was supposed to be in Washington this week, and that was before uh, Netanyahu pulled the plug because the U.S. failed to veto a U.N. resolution calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. John Kirby told reporters that the, uh, at, that the uh, fact that that the U.S. abstained from the vote did not signal a change in policy. Yes, it does. You either vote against the ceasefire or you abstain, which is a vote against the ceasefire. You will vote for the ceasefire. Even though Bibi Netanyahu called back the Israeli delegation, uh, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin told the Israeli defense minister in a face-to-face -face meeting at the Pentagon yesterday, the number of civilian casualties is far too high and the amount of humanitarian aid is far too low. But the United States is Israel's closest ally, and that's not going to change. Then stop the rhetoric. The Biden administration has joined in the pro-Palestinian protesters, just like Biden yesterday says, yeah, we, well, you know, free health care in Gaza, yeah, that might make sense. Let's talk about that. Can't make it up. 22 after. We'll be right back. Get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. Get more savings on our huge Toyota selection. Shop new Corollas, just $239 a month. Or new Tundras with 3.99% financing. Get more for your trade. Save big and get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. Acre Station Meat Farm, along with Lane Angus Beef, bring you Farm to Fork Beef. Stock your freezers now with affordable beef boxes, just in time for the grill and season. Farm to Fork Beef brings quality local beef to your family. From your traditional butcher shop, Acre Station Meat Farm. Come on down to Acre Station Meat Farm and find out why we're number one in fresh cuts and friendly service. Acre Station Meat Farm, Highway 32 North, Pine Town. Other restaurants claim their food is fresh and fast, but are they friendly? At Moore's, you're treated like family the minute you walk into their doors. With locations in Winterville, New Bern, Swansboro, Moorhead City, and Jacksonville, we've been practicing what we preach since 1945. At Moore's, our barbecue is slow cooked and smoked over real wood daily until it's so tender it's falling off the bone. Combined with our fresh chicken, cooked to order seafood, and homemade fixins, we're sure you'll agree. If it's not Moore's, it's less. When a place is as special as this, you don't want to change a thing. You simply want to enjoy it, just as it is. That was our inspiration behind Bow Coast West, our newest community in Beaufort, North Carolina. Embrace all that we love about this very special place and make it easy for families to enjoy all that this coastal lifestyle has to offer. Be inspired. Bow Coast West. Hey, grab me one too. is with standard belts, usually you have to choose between too tight or the opposite, too loose. But with Anson Belt and Buckle, you don't have to choose. We got rid of the holes and instead have a track system designed for micro adjustability. That way you can enjoy a perfect fit every time. Anson Belt and Buckle. Find your perfect fit today.
It's time to get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. More savings, more selection, more for your trade. Get new Camrys, $269 a month, or new RAV4s, $299 a month. Save big and get more in 24 at Greenville Talk Toyota. 23 and 1037. Better get a huff sled. Wake up! Wake up! Please, wake up! This is Talk of the Town. Here's Henry and Patrick. Okay, welcome back. 25 after... Um, just having some office conversation. I have confirmed that Michael Watley did get up at the Republican Party meeting last night before the vote and say. A little endorsement? Say that President Trump wanted Jason Simmons to be the chairman of the North Carolina ah. Republican Party. And, of course, what happened after that? He got elected. Are you, are you saying that this guy would not do a good job? Is that? I have. What I don't know. Him. I have here. no idea. I just know that uh, Trump is now hijacked the entire party. And well, I, I mean, isn't the isn't the nominee or whoever's the the presidential candidate or president of? I mean, aren't they kind of the the assumed head of the party anyway? Well, maybe, but I mean, and it's not. It's okay for him to endorse, but I mean, it's just. I, here's the thing. I'm just saying to people. When you donate to the Republican Party, make sure it's going to candidates and to where you think it's going to go, and not to pay legal fees. <laughs> not to legal, which, not to the legal fund, which is absurd. Yeah. Well, that's where it's going to go. If you you got to be careful. That's what I would say. Did you hear where he was asked about collateral, and he said cash? He said his collateral was going to be cash. Yeah, for his. I thought Still he didn't have enough cash to to do it. It's um, what he said. It's one I of those not, deals. It was a shout. I mean, you know, billionaires don't keep cash. Come on. I know that. You know that. Yeah. Does Lara Logan know that? Lara Logan. <laughs> <laughs> she apparently went on Alex Jones' show yesterday. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, it's I don't, I don't, you can't make it up. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's talk about something more fun. Uh, th this kid that, uh, has become kind of the, um, the, the, the biggest star of the NCAA tournament, NC state's DJ Burns. Mm -hmm. I, re I really like watching him play. He's the beer truck. What is it? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Bill has said about him. He's got, got the body of a linebacker and the, the feet of a ballerina. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's a story this morning online from marketwatch.com where apparently DJ Burns owns vending machines in Raleigh. So if you buy Oh, it's great. If you buy something at a vending machine in Raleigh, you might you might be putting money in DJ Burns' pocket. I got no problem with it. I know it's what's wrong with that? Nothing. I just think it's an interesting story. Who would think to own vending machines? He says, I own vending machines. I in, uh, Let's see. He says, uh, it all started while I was talking with one of the trainers, Gabe Blair. I was just talking to him about some things I went through and what are some ways to make some outside money and so you're not one-dimensional. And that was one of the things he showed me, and I took after it. So I went on and I bought two vending machines. And um, apparently, the average, vent, according to the uh, National Automatic Merchandising Association, the average ma vending machine brings in $525 a month. Whoa. That's over 6000 a month, a year. So he's making over, you know, he's making about thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 a year on the vending It's not bad for a college kid, is it? I'm going to get me a couple of vending machines. I think we ought to get some. I'm surprised he's not uh, NC State's not loading him up with NIL money now. He probably will now. I don't know. Well, I saw, I saw the issue with NC State with their NIL is up until I guess now, it was all they were trying to put it all into football. There was a because remember they created like several NILs because there were people who didn't like that the money yeah, was thought, going I, to I basketball. Thought they had, I thought they had different ones over there. Yeah, because people didn't like the fact that money was going to basketball. Unlike uh, Team Boneyard here. By the way, the uh, pigskin pigout's coming up, and there's going to mm -hmm. be some big announcements from Team Boneyard, uh, some fun opportunities about some experiences 
that uh, people can uh, that can buy or bid on. There's also going to be an online auction and stuff that Team Boneyard's doing. They're doing some innovative things. I was talking to uh, Hank and uh, Doug Gomes, Matt Slate about that yesterday. They uh, Team Boneyard's got some. They're going to be some fun opportunities for pirate fans at the Pigskin Pig Out that uh, is going to raise some money for Team Boneyard. So be prepared for that. But maybe Team Boneyard needs to get in the vending machine business. <laughs> Can't believe this kid owns vending machines. When does NC State play, by the way? They play tomorrow or Friday? Friday. Carolina plays tomorrow night, right? Uh, yes. I saw that the head coach of uh, UConn, uh, Hurley, Danny Hurley is complaining. He says there's a conspiracy against UConn. He doesn't like the fact that they got the first game tomorrow. He thinks he thinks that the NCAA is out to try to get UConn out of the tournament. And I'm trying to figure out why, what time of day you play would matter. He's a conspiracy theorist. He and Lara Logan. Uh, all right, let's get a break in. We got a, uh, we got a guest coming up. Um, Kali Crescio is uh, a student ambassador for the National Retail Federation Foundation. And she is raising money for an organization called Souls for Souls. And uh, she's here in the building. And we're going to talk to Kali next. Stay with us. Air Service is back at Pitt Greenville Airport, offering safe, clean facilities and flights from American Airlines. That means the short commute, quicker lines, and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy. See it for yourself. There's great things inside at Pitt Greenville Airport. Storm season is approaching. North Carolina weather can damage your roof, and before long, a small leak can turn into a big problem. Your home is one of your biggest investments, so protect it with Wells Home Improvements. We work with all insurance companies for a hassle-free roof installation experience. Call us today and get 10% off your roof installation when you mention this commercial. 252-227-8403 or visit us online at wellshomeimprovements.com. Wells Home Improvements. Local. Honest. Dependable. Big tax credits are back. Get a 30% tax credit, up to $2,000 off your new Mitsubishi electric heat pump install. Let Comfort Master help you take advantage of the tax credits with a qualifying Mitsubishi electric ducted heat pump or non-ducted Mitsubishi electric mini splits. Mitsubishi electric mini splits are ideal for bonus rooms, garages, or sunrooms. If you need a new HVAC unit, call Comfort Master today. Call Comfort Master. Call Comfort Master. When a place is as special as this, you don't want to change a thing. You simply want to enjoy it, just as it is. That was our inspiration behind Bow Coast West, our newest community in Beaufort, North Carolina. Embrace all that we love about this very special place and make it easy for families to enjoy all that this coastal lifestyle has to offer. Be inspired. Bow Coast West. Hey, grab me one, too. Interbanks Media and 107.9 WNCT presents Concert on the Common. One, two, three, say, I love beach music. It's Every back April 25th me. with the Embers. Oh, girls, hit you, hallelujah. Girls, hit you, hallelujah. Cause uptown folk don't give it to you. Don't miss Concert on the Common with the Embers. Concert on the Common, thanks to Interbanks Media, the City of Greenville, and the Junior League of Greenville. We'll see you at the show. Air Service is back at Pitt Greenville Airport offering safe, clean facilities and flights from American Airlines. That means the short commute, quicker lines, and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy. See it for yourself. There's great things inside at Pitt Greenville Airport. 96.3 and 1037. The Morning Show, who wakes up next to you. All the info I need every morning. This is Talk of the Town. Here's Henry and Patrick. <laughs> That's a nice shot. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Can you take a lunch? Anyway, we are back live here in the uh, studio this morning. 
And uh, we have got, uh, I'm happy because I've got one of the ECU students with us. I always love it when we have the ECU students come by. I've got Kylie Crescio. Am I pronouncing it right? Yes. And uh, Kylie is the student president of the National Retail Federation Foundation, right? The Student Association. Oh, yeah. It's... So you, uh, you're you the president at ECU. What year are you? I am currently a senior. I'm actually graduating a semester early, so I'm sad to have my time cut short, but it's been an amazing ride. Yeah. So uh, tell us about this organization, and, and we're going to talk about your Souls for Souls uh, 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 efforts that, that are going on, but tell us about the National Retail Federation. What do you guys do? So the National Retail Federation is an organization. It's a nationwide chapter, but we have a chapter at ECU. And what we do is once once a month we meet and we talk about different things going on in the retail industry. We have some professional development workshops, some scholarship opportunities, which are really amazing. But my favorite thing that I've participated in with the National Retail Federation is our trip to New York. So this past January we went to New York. We had the opportunity to go to a career fair, which I found super beneficial because I've never really been a, in a huge industry setting like that where I got to talk to different professionals and people my age who are going for the same job positions and even different positions in the industry, which I found really interesting just to see everybody's different perspectives. Mm -hmm. We also were able to participate in a mentor series where we had people high up in the industry give us some advice and we were able to ask them questions. So I think being able to be a part of this chapter where we're able to get some real life experience in the industry has been really eye opening and something that I've been so glad to be able to take advantage of. That's great. Was it, or was it the event at the Javits Center? It was actually in the Marriott Marquis in New York City. Okay, that's that's Times Square, isn't it? Oh yeah, right in Times Square. Yes, that, that was probably a cool experience. It was amazing because yeah. we weren't just working all the time; we were able to go out and play and have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, and you just told me you you've got a great internship coming up this summer. You're going to be at Dollywood. Yes, I'll be working as the merchandising and buying intern, and there will be six other merchandising interns. So I'm very excited to be able to work with those students as well. Wow, what a great opportunity! Oh, yeah. Dollywood. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, tell us about what you're doing with uh, this organization called Souls for Souls. Yes. So every um, National Retail Federation chapter across the country will be working with Souls for Souls this semester to collect shoes and send them to countries such as Honduras and Haiti to work with co the communities who are underprivileged and are suffering from natural disasters, um, war violence, and domestic violence. And kind Haiti, of Haiti's got a bad right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're working to collect shoes for them and kind of give them somewhere to start from. Usually each year, Souls for Souls collects around $18,750 worth of merchandise, such as clothes and shoes. And we kind of repurpose them and send them out to the communities to give them somewhere to start from. So you want people to donate shoes? Yes. And I know you're working with uh, uh, Bostic Sug. I'm working with Bostic Sug, Truly Yours in Arlington Village, Fleet Feet. Well, who, and is it? who is it in Arlington? Truly yours. Truly yours. Okay, so there's more than one location. Oh, yes. We'll have the Greenville Mall. The exact location is to be determined. And ECU students can go to the Rivers Building, West Side, um, room 329. All right. So, uh, and what do you want people to bring their used shoes? Yes, gently shoes, any size, any style of shoe. Please come donate them. Any kind of shoe. Oh, yeah. Flip flops, yeah. athletic shoes, heels, anything will be. Accepted. And there's a there's a, like a drop off location at Bostic Sug and other areas. Yes. Okay. I will have right. a flyer made. Each store will have a flyer. I'm yeah. hoping to have at least a minimum of 50 shoes, but I'm aiming for around. I heard Bostic Sug already had 25. Oh yeah, I know. Britt, I have. Britt 15. Laughinghouse sent a note and said that he's already got 25 shoes in his. So you're going to do more than 50. Oh yeah. Yeah. Easily. So, all right. So people should check their closet for used shoes. Yes. You don't want them with the holes in the bottom but if you've got shoes you're not going to wear anymore right yeah. uh, no holes in the bottom please yeah if you want to wear them i don't think other people would either <laughs> yeah. right but uh, but you seriously want any kind of shoes yes yeah, seriously any type of Dre shoe. dress shoes tennis shoes yes. athletic shoes yeah flip-flops okay yes all right good and how long is this going to be going on this will be going on from april 8th to may 5th all right so uh this is the time to bring them out April yes. 8th of May 5th. But I understand Bostic Sugs already got their box out anyway. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some spring cleaning. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, well, look, it's uh, great to meet you. 
It's great to meet you, too. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for you to be able to go to Dollywood this summer. Thank you. Me, too. Yeah. And uh, so what your ultimate goal is to do what? Like after college? Yeah. Oh, I believe just to find a career that I think I can succeed in and have potential growth beyond imagination. But I mean, you want to be like a buyer? A buyer or sourcing? I'm not too sure yet. I have time to figure it out. What does sourcing mean? So just traveling different places, finding the most sustainable and affordable ways to piece together the clothing. So going out, buying fabric, buying buttons, different things like that. All right. Well, it's great to meet you. It's great to meet you, too. All right. I'll uh, continue to promote this. So, uh, April 8th through May, May 5th. May 5th. So yes. Go into your closet, folks, and pull out some shoes for Souls for Souls. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you, Kylie. Thank you. All right. It's 841. We'll be right back. Get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. Get more savings on our huge Toyota selection. Shop new Corollas, just $239 a month. Or new Tundras with 3.99% financing. Get more for your trade. Save big and get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. Acre Station Meat Farm, along with Lane Angus Beef, bring you Farm to Fork Beef. Stock your freezers now with affordable beef boxes, just in time for the grilling season. Farm to Fork Beef brings quality local beef to your family. From your traditional butcher shop, Acre Station Meat Farm. Come on down to Acre Station Meat Farm and find out why we're number one in fresh cuts and friendly service. Acre Station Meat Farm, Highway 32 North, Pine Town. Other restaurants claim their food is fresh and fast, but are they friendly? At Moore's, you're treated like family the minute you walk into their doors. With locations in Winterville, New Bern, Swansboro, Moorhead City, and Jacksonville, we've been practicing what we preach since 1945. At Moore's, our barbecue is slow-cooked and smoked over real wood daily until it's so tender it's falling off the bone. Combined with our fresh chicken, cooked-to-order seafood, and homemade fixins, we're sure you'll agree. If it's not Moore's, it's less. When a place is as special as this, you don't want to change a thing. You simply want to enjoy it just as it is. That was our inspiration behind Bow Coast West, our newest community in Beaufort, North Carolina. Embrace all that we love about this very special place and make it easy for families to enjoy all that this coastal lifestyle has to offer. Be inspired. Bow Coast West. Hey, grab me one too. is with standard belts usually you have to choose between too tight or the opposite too loose but with Anson belt and buckle you don't have to choose you got rid of the holes and instead have a track system designed for micro adjustability that way you can enjoy a perfect fit every time Anson belt and buckle find your perfect fit today It's time to get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. More savings, more selection, more for your trade. Get new Camrys, $269 a month, or new RAV4s, $299 a month. Save big and get more in 24 at Greenville Toyota. It is a great morning, isn't it? So nice to have you back. Now back to Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton and Patrick Johnson. This is Talk 96.3 and 103.7. 844, it's uh, 16 in front of uh, 9 o'clock. Welcome back to Talk of the Town this morning, and uh, it is time to get some sports in here. Patrick Johnson is back with the very latest sports update. And uh, PJ, what you got? Oh, we don't have Patrick. Oh, two, three, four. Are you there? Yep. Okay, good morning. Here's Patrick with our sports update. (laughs) All right. Uh, Number 15, East Carolina. They used a huge effort from their bullpen, a lockdown effort you could describe, and uh, that allowed them to rally and defeat UNCW, getting the season sweep on the diamond. 
7-4. The game, of course, last night at Clark LeClaire Stadium. This is what Cliff Godwin had to say afterwards about the pen. No question. Um, you know, I gave it the shank, the shirt, because uh, he uh, stuffed in the last three innings. But, um, of course, Eric Ritchie did a really good job of just settling things down. And um, Groller came in, then Danny Bill. Uh, picked him up, and uh, then Shankman, man, but definitely the bullpen was the MVP of today. So East Carolina will have their first home conference series beginning Thursday because of the Easter weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday this week. UAB will be the uh, opponent, and uh, that'll be a 6 o'clock first pitch on Thursday evening from Clark LeClaire. The Panthers could be bringing back a familiar pay, uh, face, according to reports. Carolina has reached out to veteran free agent corner Stephen Gilmore, or Stephon Gilmore, excuse me, about a potential reunion. Gilmore, who went to college at South Carolina, appeared in eight games for the Panthers in 21 after being acquired in a trade with the Patriots. Last season, he started all 17 games with the Cowboys and uh, recorded 68 tackles and a pair of interceptions. In uh, college hoops last night, High Point squeaked past Arkansas State 81 80, the semifinal of the CBI. So the Panthers will play. Seattle U in the championship from Daytona Beach later on tonight. Big Ham, that'll wrap it for uh, sports this hour. All right. And here on Talk of the Town, we'll send Appreciate it back you. to you. Appreciate you. Oh, by the way, the game times, you asked about that. North Carolina's uh, approximately 9.39 tomorrow night. Oh, geez. And on so CBS. Late. NC so late. St- yeah, NC State is on 7.09 Friday night, CBS. Duke is on 9.39. Friday night CBS. So what time is uh, NC State? 7.09. 709 in Duke. Yeah. Well, I'll be able to stay up late and watch the uh, games on Friday night. Tomorrow night, we're going to be busy because we got to get up and uh, get over to Gaffer's tomorrow morning, or Friday morning. Which I'll tell well, you'll you. You'll be about down at the, uh, the, beach, the beach, won't you? Yeah, but I mean, I still got to get up early and go do the show. I can't uh, I can't be up all night watching basketball. Okay. I got to put my wool pajamas and my stockings on, <laughs> like Lee Corso. Your Corso <laughs> sleeping attire. Our uh, <laughs> our sports update brought to you this hour by Advantage Therapy Solutions. If you have uh, any need for pain rehab, you need to try this laser light therapy that they're offering at uh, Advantage Therapy Solution. Uh, People are getting some great response. Chris says, as an avid pickleball player, that he routinely had acute joint and muscle flare-ups. He says, I've utilized both light and laser therapy as well as functional nutrition. I've noticed an improvement in my pain levels, flexibility, energy, sleep, and overall my body is less sore after activity. Tanya says, laser therapy has decreased my inflammation greatly. Even my massage therapist raves about the significant difference in my body. Advantage Therapy Solutions are located at 212 East Arlington, right across the street from the WITN studios. You can call them for an appointment, and they'll give you a free consultation, and your uh, your first treatment will be no charge, just so you can get a feel for what it's like. It's easy. I've been doing it for my trigger finger. 212 East Arlington Boulevard, Advantage Therapy Solutions. You can call them at 252-689-8729-689-8729. All right, quick break. We got our back with our Nate Bargatze laugh track again. Air service is back at Pitt Greenville Airport, offering safe, clean facilities and flights from American Airlines. That means the short commute, quicker lines, and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy. See it for yourself. There's great things inside at Pitt Greenville Airport. Storm season is approaching. North Carolina weather can damage your roof, and before long, a small leak can turn into a big problem. Your home is one of your biggest investments, so protect it with Wells Home Improvements. We work with all insurance companies for a hassle-free roof installation experience. Call us today and get 10% off your roof installation when you mention this commercial. 252-227-8403 or visit us online at wellshomeimprovements.com. Wells Home Improvements. Local. Honest. Dependable. Big tax credits are back. Get a 30% tax credit, up to $2,000 off your new Mitsubishi electric heat pump install. Let Comfort Master help you take advantage of the tax credits with a qualifying Mitsubishi electric ducted heat pump or non-ducted Mitsubishi electric mini splits. Mitsubishi electric mini splits are ideal for bonus rooms, garages, or sunrooms. If you need a new HVAC unit, call Comfort Master today. Call Comfort Master. Call Comfort Master. 
When a place is as special as this, you don't want to change a thing. You simply want to enjoy it, just as it is. That was our inspiration behind Bow Coast West, our newest community in Beaufort, North Carolina. Embrace all that we love about this very special place and make it easy for families to enjoy all that this coastal lifestyle has to offer. Be inspired. Bow Coast West. Hey, grab me one too. Interbanks Media and 107.9 WNCT presents Concert on the Common. One, two, three, say, I love beach music. It's Every back April 25th with the Embers. Girls hit you hallelujah. Girls hit you hallelujah. Cause uptown folk don't give it to you. Don't miss Concert on the Common with the Embers. Concert on the Common. Thanks to Interbanks Media, the City of Greenville, and the Junior League of Greenville. We'll see you at the show. Air Service is back at Pitt Greenville Airport offering safe, clean facilities and flights from American Airlines. That means the short commute, quicker lines, and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy. See it for yourself. There's great things inside at Pitt Talk Greenville guns, Airport. And better get a hustling. Wake up! Wake up! Please, wake up! This is Talk of the Town. Here's Henry and Patrick. Well, Henry, anyway, welcome back. It's uh, Talk of Oh, he's back? Talk of the town what, here. What what lies Michael, is Buscemi telling you this Well, morning? Michael keeps whispering. My, Patrick's not there. Patrick's not there. You know what he loves to do? He loves to try to throw shade on me or no. try to make me look bad in your no, eyes. He He's like done that for no, decades. No, he doesn't. He just, I tell him to yeah. let me know when you're that, not there. Yeah, that's my uh, job description to make you look bad. Oh, here we go with this. That's, here we that's go with this, boys, you, boys, boys. If you boys, worked as hard at your regular job outside. as you did trying to make me look bad. Take this be outside. Productive. All right, I'll just sit back and let the rest of the show be you guys arguing. That'll be. That'll I'm be done. Good. I'm that'll done. be some good radio. Uh, let's see. What have we not gotten to this morning? We got into all of our audio, Michael. I think so. Um, Michael's done. We're going to be at uh, Gaffers, and we're excited about that. Let me plug our sponsors again for our show at Gaffers on Friday morning. We got some great guests. Come on out and see us. Uh, our Show will be seven to nine outside at Gaffers. Uh, they, they, the little stage they used to have there. They got a bar there now, Michael. So I don't know where Red's going to set us up. You, can, <laughs> you guys will work on that tomorrow. But the that's, uh, that's better use a bar than yeah, a oh stage yeah. for you. Well, we I can just do it from in the bar. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but if you've never had breakfast at Gaffers, they have a fabulous breakfast. Come on out and see us on Friday morning. It's going to be Good Friday. And it's our beach season kickoff show. Thanks to all of our sponsors, including Towboat US, Stephen and Mary Angel Lily. And I understand they've just had a new little bouncing baby. So maybe Stephen will be there. Maybe he won't. Ryan Ayer, who is a global real estate advisor for Landmark Sotheby's International, Timeless Home Inspections, Swansboro Dairy Queen. I know Mayor Davis is going to be with us from uh, Swansboro. Uh, Surf Pro, Brent Robertson and Nancy, I think, are going to join us. Uh, Performance East, one-hour heating and air conditioning, never enough blue water charters, Ice House Catering, Carteret Heating and Cooling. I know the Whites are going to be with us, and we're looking forward to seeing Johnny and Jordan and all those guys. Uh, Bogue Sound Distillery, I think the great Richard Chapman will be there. One of our new sponsors is Ace Marine Rigging and Supply, and, of course, Gaffers is uh, one of our sponsors, so we're excited about that. We are going to be live at Gaffer's on Friday morning. Please come out and see us. And, um, you know, we're also going to have our uh, Radiothon for Children's Miracle Network next Thursday and Friday, so be uh, thinking and praying about what you can do to help our children's hospital here. They do an unbelievable job. So that's coming up Thursday, Friday of next week. And you can donate online already. You can go to the IBX Media app. Dylan's put an icon on there. It's very simple, two clicks, and you can donate right online. 
All right. Um, all right, let's redo the laugh track. Nate Bargatze, our comedian this morning. Let's uh, do the replay of the laugh track with Nate Bargatze. We're at a Holiday Inn Express, so the breakfast buffet there is where they have the cereal where you turn the knob and, like, four pieces fall out. It's like how you feed a cat for a long weekend, you know? You know that's enough. Uh, they had batter and syrup. And so you pour the, but they had the waffle iron where you make it yourself. So you pour the batter on the waffle iron, you shut it, you turn it over, it locks, it cooks for two minutes, you turn it over, you open it, half the waffle comes off, half stays forever. <laughs> so I'm with my buddy of mine that's my age. So we go through, he's in front of me. Batter and syrup, they're in clear containers. They're not labeled, but they're in clear containers. He gets the syrup and starts pouring it on the waffle iron. And I'm not even stopping him, because he's not doing it where he's going, I don't, I've never done this. He's doing it where we're probably going to try it after. I mean, he's just like, we are like, dude, I can't wait to see what this guy's making. Like, he might know something that I don't know. He shuts it, turns it over, it cooks. He's like looking at us, we're like, I mean, the whole line's like, yeah, what is that going to be? And it makes black smoke is what it makes. Just, I mean, dark black smoke just starts filling the lobby. The manager comes over, he's like, what are you doing? He's like, I guess I poured the wrong one. These are not labeled. And the guy's like, they're in clear containers. <laughs> Do you not know the difference of batter and syrup? And he's like, I bet it happens all the time. He goes, I've worked here my whole life and I've never seen this. All right, Nate Bargatze, we are done for the day. It looks like the rain is gonna be moving in around the uh, middle of the day today. And it's gonna stay with us through tomorrow. Tomorrow's really gonna be a washout. Uh, about a 50% chance of rain starting around uh, 1 or 2 o'clock today, and then uh, tomorrow's 100%. See you tomorrow.